Thanks for joining us on NCC News. I'm Angelica Rodriguez. And I'm Michaela Ruder. Let's get to our top stories. Officials have released more information on a hit and run that occurred last night on Syracuse Northside and the charges against a district attorney investigator. District attorney William Fitzpatrick says the investigator in question, Peter Rush, has been arrested for hitting a pedestrian at the intersection of Salina and Bear in front of the CNC Mini Mart. Police say Rush then dumped the vehicle along the side of Past Time Athletic Club. The 18-year-old boy is not expected to survive and Rush, who has been charged in the hit and run, could potentially face a month's latter charge. In solidarity with International Women's Day, Syracuse and the CUNY ESF students are planning a rally on the SU Quad tomorrow. In addition to the rally at 3.30 p.m., students are continuing to call on Syracuse University Chancellor Ken Sieverud to declare an SU a sanctuary campus. Major Stephanie Miner has declared Syracuse a sanctuary city. Alexis Rink, an organizer of the rally, wants Sieverud to take a similar stand. There may be more than four businesses affected by this new building complex project, but the oldest of the businesses sees it very positively. Hundreds of relatives of those killed on the 9-11 terrorism attacks have begun suing Saudi Arabia. The lawsuit filed Monday in the federal court in Manhattan seeks unspecified monetary damages. This suit happens a year after the Congress decided to let victims victims sue Saudi Arabia. The 9-11 Commission reports that while there is no evidence that the Saudi government official individually founded the attacks, there's a likelihood that the government sponsored charity is dead. And Radio Chuck is closing over 500 stores nationwide after announcing its bankruptcy last week. Here in New York State, Radio Chuck is closing over 100 stores. According to the court filing that listed the location set to close, these locations have the lowest sales velocity and the highest rents. Radio Chacks will close 187 stores immediately and the remaining 365 in April. The JDC received a phone call prompting the lockdown, but the WEED police say there was no specific bomb threat. In light of threat, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo released a statement calling on federal and local law enforcement to work together to help solve these crimes. This is the third threat that the WIT JCC has received over the last seven weeks. The lockdown was lifted around 11.15 and all activity has resumed. Trump says he knows who is responsible for the protest against his administration. Trump told Fox News that he believes Obama is behind the town hall protests and the damaging leaks that keep disturbing the White House. Trump also mentioned that politics in general is part of the problem. However, Trump has not provided any evidence that backs up his statement yet. I might go to Colombia because I want to go home for a while <laughs> and then probably come back to this weather. Yeah, so. Unfortunately, I feel, yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know. Like, I, I just hope that all the students go to a warmer weather because handling this is no, it's, yeah, it's I, not a good thing. Well, <laughs> one of the keys is getting out. I feel like if you're going to do spring break, you want to do it somewhere fun, and especially for us seniors too, you want to make sure that it's a good spring break. You want to make sure that it's your best one for <laughs> exactly. probably your last time in school. Well, that's all we have for this half an hour morning on The Hill. I'm Angelica Rodriguez.